Epic Streams, the nonprofit revolutionizing the way we do business, housing many brands under our name. Glenn's Era Designs, 8890, Nocturnal Images are some. Any development that is made by these brands will be featured on www.epicstreams.com. Just for utilizing our brand's products, you will get your company freely promoted on the nonprofit epicstreams.com forever. Link in the description below to order our products today. What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. Chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all, now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Aaron, we're gonna be talking about versus the Warhammer Titan. Let's go in future chapters for the manga 96 to 97. Let's get into this now. Zeke and the other warriors have already been shown to be going back to the island. That means that it's gonna bring some real hell. Now, we do know that the family, the actual only fucking family in Attack on Titan, is actually wealthy. Well, that is an Eldian anyway has something called the Warhammer Titan, the ninth final Titan shifter. Now they're going to go back to the island. There's all, they've already made an announcement that they will actually be going back to the island and they will claim it. Aaron has already stated that he is going to master the founding Titan's ability. Remember, the ships that Marley sent over to the island were destroyed. That means Aaron and Army were able to get all the way to the edge of the fucking island which no Eldian or over there in Paradise Island has ever been able to get to before. Why? Because all of the shit ton of Titans. Now, because of the Fountain Titan's ability, Aaron would have easily mastered that. Now, that means he has control of an entire fucking island of Titans. Well, the ones that's left, they killed like a fucking shit ton. Anyway, now, Aaron has already demonstrated to be able to master the Titan's techniques very fucking, I'll say, rapidly, i.e. mastering having to use a Titan, mastering the hardening ability, and those are just some of the examples. Now, Aaron being able to fight the Warhammer Titan, which might be called the Winged Titan. The reason why I say the Winged Titan, because one of the Marley generals brought it up. He said, isn't there a Winged Titan? But everyone got quiet. Now we're finding out that it's a Night Titan shifter, and that family has nothing to do with the Marley government. They help out here and there, but they're not like the Warriors. That's why everyone got quiet when one of the Marley generals said that. Now, the Winged Titan fighting Aaron, let's be honest here, the Winged Titans, well, wings are strong enough to be able to rip through a Titan's entire body. Why? Because you have something that's able to pick up all of that mass, and not just that, sustain it in the air for a long period of time. That means he can use those as weapons to either pierce the Titan and rip them apart, or overall just tear them to shreds without even lifting an actual finger. Now, this Titan already is not going to have the combat abilities that Aaron has, mainly because he fought the best fighter, which was Annie. He even was able to take down Reiner. Now, Aaron's Titan form already is very out stay squishy. There's no real protection. Hell, even him punching a wall too hard will break his fucking hand. So that means that he's going to have to utilize the hardening ability. Problem is, his hardening ability is not like Annie's. He has to be, from what I can tell, completely still, and then his Titan can use the ability. Now, that means that he is possibly going to have to trick the winged Titan, similar to how we tricked the Colossal Titan into believing that his Titan was morally wounded, sneak up behind him, and take him down. If that Titan gets in the air, there will be nothing Aaron can do. Now, of course, the other surrounding Titans, he can call them to come and attack him. That could be a way that Aaron could weigh down the Warhammer Titan as well and rip his wings. All he needs is one bite to one of those wings from these Titans. Would be the only way for this thing not to stay airborne. And remember, Titans also regenerate very rapidly, which means Aaron is going to have to lay on the pressure. Anytime he gives that Titan the moment to breathe, that will be nearly his last moments on Earth. That Titan is tremendously dangerous to Aaron. If Aaron does not play this right, Aaron can easily get killed by this Titan, even faster than he got beat by Annie. This is the Warhammer Titan. Keep in mind, the damn thing is called the Warhammer Titan. The Warhammer. Come on now, guys. The Warhammer. All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching. This is being home by popular video games. So y'all make sure to make more Titan videos. By the way, I'm playing Attack on Titan Tribute, if you're wondering. All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching once again. Peace out and talk to y'all.